So is the correct terminology conjoined twins? I guess that's the most so, uh, socially acceptable. Uh, we we we're just called uh, we call ourselves hipsters. How would you describe to somebody who's not familiar what a hipster is? We're joined at the hip. But um. Lupita, if somebody wants to be your friend, what is the first thing they should do? I'm pretty like open to friendship, so they don't have to do anything. Just respect goes both ways. When somebody meets you for the first time, what do you want them to know? We are people. Does that mean there's people who treat you like you're less than human? Yeah. We have been personally actually called uh, like, a like aliens looking people. Um, how we are freaks, we have been referred to as abominations, things like that. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. That's just not right. It's, it's a part of life now. How would you describe the emotional impact that had on you? Growing up, it stung. It, it like, as, as, because feelings like words do hurt, but now it's more of a, be more creative. It's it's not an, an original insult. Lupita, huh? how would you describe Carmen's personality? Loud, like my mom. Um, very opinionated. She doesn't give a damn about anything. Um, or anyone. Um, she'll do what you gotta do. Um, now yeah, that's it. Carmen, how would you describe Lupita's personality? Uh, good question. She, she cares a lot. Um, I'm not compassionate, but she really is. Uh, she'll understand why people do what they do, even if it's not the nicest things, I guess, and look at the bright side. Is it easy for you to make new friends? It's... I guess you can say it's easy, but it's just more of a, will they stick around? Because it's obviously an adjustment. When we hang out with friends, sometimes we'll just, uh, we'll stay home um, and do hang out at home or at their house. But when we're in public, it's an adjustment for them to see that people are staring at us, talking about us, or um, taking pictures of us, things like that. Are you open to people asking questions? We have no problem at um, people asking questions. It all depends on how the question is asked. So like, how do I put this? So it's like, why? I'm just trying to think without swearing. That's why. Sorry. <laughs> people think that we're obligated because we are the way we are. That we have to answer absolutely every single question that comes our way, even if it's inappropriate or very personal and it's not it's like on a need to know basis um i also lost my train of thought <laughs> in my opinion we're past the point of um being sideshow attractions and things like that we are tr we're trying to share our lives the best we can but then again you don't have to know every single bit of part of our lives lupita is there just a list of things you never want to hear from somebody uh are you guys sisters? Um, how do you go to the bathroom? Um, did your mom do drugs when you were, when she was pregnant with you? Okay, Dad, you're not even, like, you're kind of half in the frame. I think. <laughs> and now we're all conjoined. <laughs> you can't even see Lupita's face. Uh -huh. Sorry. Are you, so you're all in the frame, you look perfect. Are you ready for the first question? Sure. sure. Yes. Yeah. Carmen, this will be a question for you. Okay. How would you describe your family? Um, uh, that's a good question. Very family oriented. Lupita, same question. How would you describe your family? Uh, hectic, but great. Tell me about your family. You can, you go ahead. Ladies first. Oh, what? Um, my mom, she's very strong. Um, she has a lot of faith in people and uh, I guess humanity. Mom, here's a question for you. How would you describe your three children? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are my 
uh, they are wonderful. Yeah, oh, the three about. together they are kind of my um, my life. What's your favorite thing to talk about? Uh, animals mostly. I guess it's because they don't speak, uh, and they because they don't have the ability to speak, they can't judge you out loud. You can see it in their eyes, though. See, there's that humor you were telling me about. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start using humor to diffuse a situation? Okay, we dealt with a lot of uh, mental health issues for a long time. Uh, it's kind of like a coping mechanism instead of just kind of lashing out, if that makes sense. From So do you have any mental health diagnoses? Yeah, we have depression. Uh, we have untreated anxiety right now. How would you define depression? My opinion? An overwhelming sense of doom. Uh, if that makes sense. That a lot of things can't get better, but... Then again, I'm, I'm locked in my own head, but you gotta just think it can if you just keep on going. Lupita, how would you define anxiety? Um, anxiety is where you can't do anything because you're worried that you're gonna do it wrong. I personally don't like when people take pictures of them without asking. So I think, you know, that's, you wouldn't like it if somebody did that to you as well. Um, and I do appreciate when people do ask because most of the time we'll be like, yeah, sure, or maybe not. But just to ask and to be conscious about, you know, their feelings and put yourself in their shoes when you are about to make a, a and not a smart comment or you know like point them out or something just come up to them it is better than to just be like oh look 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 at them you know we prefer for them to come and talk to us if you're at a store and a mom and their child sees you mm -hmm. what do you want the mom to say to the child i mean it's not really up to us of what we want them to say it's more of a how will you educate them into show okay so like not just like chew them away or like cover their eyes and kind of just run away. It's more of a educating somebody that's not everybody's gonna look different. Or like same, the same to you, I'm sorry. Um, people are going to be different sometimes mentally or sometimes physically. And you just have to accept that. I love that, good answer. Thank you, took me a second. <laughs> Lupita, what would just what would surprise people the most about Carmen? Um, that she can drive. That 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 usually surprises people. I can't drive. Carmen, is there anything you just fundamentally disagree with Lupita on? Something philosophical, something religious, spiritual. Um, pineapple does not go on pizza. Carmen have a very uh, good attitude, like a lawyer. <laughs> yes. If you had one wish, what would it be? It would be to reach a place in life where I'm worth independent and also taking care of my family so they don't have to work anymore. I love Lupita because it's always, oh, everything is okay, no problem, like, like, um, <laughs> how's it going? Like, peacemaker. <laughs> Lupita, if you had one wish, what would it be? Not so much heat right now. It's really hot. Are you particular in conversation? how people refer to YouTube? Should they say you? Should they say YouTube? What's the correct terminology when conversing? They don't really notice, so you can say anything. Pretty much. Before we end this interview, is there anything left unsaid you would like to say? Um, subscribe to you. I know you just started your YouTube channel, but don't be ashamed to plug your channel. Us? Nah. We're alright, I guess.